Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to understand the demonstration of network attack detection using machine learning and deep learning algorithms. So for that purpose, we are using the Python as the programming languages and uh, also the HTML, CSS at the front end side, plus the Flask framework of Python. In terms of algorithm, we are using the KNN algorithm, CNN algorithm, decision tree, new base classifier. So, so many algorithms we are using here. And also coming back to the attacks, we are using so many attacks, like uh, particularly speaking, four different uh, types of attacks we are detecting. Now, first of all, we are detecting the SQL injection attack, then cross-site scripting attack, then phishing website attack, and the intrusion attack. So these are the different different attacks we are trying to find out uh, on the network. Now, this is related to the, uh, if you are connected to the internet and the, your computer is under the network, and if somebody wants to steal the information from your server side, so for that purpose, they can initiate some attacks. And for that purpose, we are using this kind of stuff. Now for intrusion, we are having the separate data set. For the phishing, we are having different data set. For SQL injection, we are having this kind of data set. So many data sets are available. For cross-site scripting, we are having different data set available. So these data sets we are using to check the attacks happening on the network and uh, using that we'll try to find out uh, or using the machine learning model we're actually going to find out the attacks happening on the network now at the front end side we're having the first of all the login page uh, if you are not having the account then you can create your account using this portal and if you're having the account then you can go over here and you can log in if you forgot the password then you can put your email address and uh, uh, you can find out your password for example you have to answer the security question as well so if you do this then uh, okay the i think the question answer was incorrect so in that case if you provide the correct details then your password will be recovered from the uh, or from that particular server side now let's uh, log in with the system so once you log in we will be landed on the uh, this particular page or that's the home page on which we have displayed the basic uh, information about the project or the overview of this project. So this overview is related to the domain of the project, data set, algorithms, framework that we are using in the project, also the problem statement, introduction, and conclusion. So that is the just a short overview about this project, what this project is all about, and what, th what this project is going to do. The second important thing is the dashboard where we are having the inform important information about this project some graphical information, some accuracy charts, graphs, some confusion metrics, the features which are used in the detection of intrusion, all those stuff. So this is just a dashboard related to the uh, machine learning things or the technical part of that. Now, most importantly, the important thing is the detecting the attack. Now, first of all, I want to detect the SQL injection attack. So I will, I will have to put the query and then the system will predict whether that's the attack or not. So for that, I am having this data set. So let's say I will pick anything from this data set. So let's say I just copy this one and I will put over here. And uh, this is the label, so I should not use it. And now I will do the prediction. So this is the attack. So this, this query is not the safe. So attack is detected. So for other queries, it could be safe. So that this is how the SQL injection attack will be detected. For cross-site scripting, I need to enter the script over here. And for that, uh, right now I'm using the data set, which is there. I'm just putting from the data set, but definitely you can use anything else as well. So from this, you can uh, copy any script and this can be uh, loaded over here. For example, this is the thing, this thing is not needed and I should remove the first part because it's a label and then predict whether this script is going to be safe. So about this now, it's a normal script. It's not having any kind of trouble, but if you test anything else, could be having some abnormalities. So that is the thing. Next is phishing attack. So here I need to put the URL, whether this URL is safe or not, that can be detected using this. So I'm putting this, and this is legitimate URL. That's a safe URL, but let's talk about this URL and then this is the phishing URL, it's not safe. So that is the another attack which we are detecting. And the final attack that we are detecting is this. 
the intrusion attack for that i need to enter the network packet over here and from that it will predict whether uh, the knn or these are the different algorithms that is going to predict so for that uh, i am having some uh, test packets over here and i can copy any packet from here and then uh, i can put so first number is the packet number so i will remove this one this is the packet number and then i have to do the prediction so all these algorithms are saying that this packet is normal no issues with this particular packet but uh, let's talk about i will pick this one let's say don't know whether it is normal or abnormal but let's test it out and i will remove the first part and just test it so this is not the normal packet the anomaly is detected in the packet so that's the issue with this packet so that's all about the complete implementation and there is logout feature as well from which you can log out so that's the machine learning used to detect the attacks happening on the network and we can easily find out the attacks and based on that we can uh, safeguard our system so that's the complete implementation of this project in case you need any kind of support or code of this project then you can check the description box under this video thank you